if they've got a wrong, that's their thing. But. And anyway, so between those two. And when the two... Baby, you can call me a superman Chucho Chucho Takani Takupama Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And for those of you that are new, like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. You're welcome and please subscribe. On um, this channel, we do reactions and we also do other things like podcasts, second like YouTube channel where we vlog, Patreon, and there's just so many things that we do you can check me out on wordpress i write from time to time you can find me on instagram also um i post short poems and you can just check them out let me know what you think and yeah so today as you can tell from the title i will be reacting to this is why muddy is arriving very soon um i've actually done a video about muddy i think it was the battle of muddy if i'm not mistaken i hope I, I really hope i'm not mistaken so yeah that's what we'll be doing today and without wasting time let's get into the video And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Al And with regards to him He is famous amidst us as the Mahdi And this is part of the beliefs of the Ahlu Sunnah That a person will come Who will be from the lineage of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The Rasul says Al Mahdi min itrati min waladi Fatima The Mahdi is from my lineage as in from my progeny, from the children of Fatima. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, his name will be my name. So his name will be Muhammad. And his father's name will be my father's name. So he will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah. And as the earth was filled with wrong and oppression, he will fill it with justice and peace. And this... This righteous ruler, Ali radiallahu anhu says, and radiallahu an Ali, Ali radiallahu anhu says, Al-Mahdi minna ahl al-bayt. The Mahdi is from us, from the family of the Prophet. Yuslihuhu Allahu fi layla. Allah Rabbu al-Izza will prepare him for the office of leadership in one night. So the Mahdi doesn't know he is the Mahdi. And the Mahdi doesn't have the competencies of the Mahdi. Until one night. In one night Allah will transform him. The Ahadith mention that a king will die. In the Jazeera. In the Arab Peninsula. And the sons or three sons of a king will fight and quarrel over leadership. And to avoid the squirrel, this man, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, will leave Medina in secret and go to Mecca. Because he doesn't want to be involved in the conflict, nor does he want people to turn towards him. So when he goes to Mecca, his aim is to avoid getting tangled up in this leadership struggle. Yet people follow him from Medina into Mecca. And they find him and they take him out. And they bring him to the Kaaba. And there between the, the Rukn, as in Hajr al-Aswad, and Maqam Ibrahim, they will make bay'ah to him when he doesn't want it. You with me? That didn't sound very convincing. So they will make bay'ah to him. And as soon as they have pledged allegiance two things will happen number one an army will march out from Syria to attack this progeny of the Rasul and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam listen carefully is in the house of Aisha radiallahu anha and he is asleep 
And in his sleep, he starts to move. He looks uncomfortable. He's displaying what he's never displayed before. Discomfort and sleep to the extent that he's moving. Then he got up. So she said, Ya Rasulullah, I have seen you do what you normally do not do. So the Prophet wasallam said, Strange is the situation. An army will come from, the, from Syria. Intending the house of Allah from my ummah, seeking a man from my progeny to attack him. And in another hadith, Wallafzul al Bukhari, Yaghzu Jayshun al Kaaba, Faida Jau bi Bayda Amin al Ard, Yaghsafu bi Awalihim wa Akharihim. And an army will come campaigning towards the Kaaba until it reached the Bayda. And Baida is an expanse of land between Mecca and Medina, a uh, uh, flat desert land. When it reaches there, the Prophet ﷺ says, يَخْصَفُ بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخَرِهِمْ The earth will suck them in their first and their last. And in another قول, one person or a couple of people will be left just to tell the tale. So this is one of the signs that this one is the one the Prophet ﷺ intended. First, that his name will be my name. And his na the name of his father will be my father's name. Second, an army will come to attack him. And he will be unarmed. And the army will be destroyed by Allah alone. So when this happens, realize that this is the one. And the people that realize it, initially or the first batch that go towards him is from our lands, from Khurasan. The black flags will rise from the areas of Afghanistan. And the flags will come towards him. And they will traverse through the land until they come in help of the Mahdi. And his time is a difficult era. The Rasul says it in an eloquence befitting the majesty of the Rasul. Listen carefully, Muslims. تَخْزُونَ جَزِيرَةَ Arab. Allah. You will campaign in the Arab Peninsula and Allah will open it. Then there will be a campaign against the Persians. Allah and Allah will open it. Then there will be a campaign against Rome and Allah will open it. Then the Dajjal will come and Allah will open it as in will let you conquer it. So the age of the Mahdi is an age of intense struggle. And the hadith says he will stay with you for seven years. And maybe eight. And if it really extends nine years. And at the last campaign, the Muslims will come. And the other side, its opposition will come to face it. And the opposition is so huge. 80 banners. 80 different flags. Under each flag will be 14,000 men. Is it 14 or 12? 12,000 men. I've said 14. If they've got it wrong, that's their thing. But. And anyway, so between those two and when the two sides meet and the Muslims see this a third of them will run away and the Prophet wasallam says Allah will never accept their repentance ever because running away reduces and destroys the morale of everyone standing so then the campaign starts and the battle is hot in its intense and a third of the Muslims will die and a third will be victorious just a third will be victorious and they will be there on the battlefield collecting the remnants and the booty of war and the hadith says from one tribe 
99 have died and one person is left. So what joy will he have at victory and what joy will he have at collecting booty? So you would think after such a calamity, after such a colossal engagement, or what is referred to in the books that preceded us as Armageddon, you would have expected issues to become more relaxed. Yet, as they have just become victorious and are collecting the things of the battlefield, a voice will come out to them that, O oh Muslims, the Dajjal has come in your lands. And the first of the Alamatul Kubra, the first of the major signs, is the advent of the Dajjal or the Antichrist. So the Imam Al Mahdi will send 10 people, 10 riders, to go and investigate and scout, see if the news is correct. And the Rasul says, Salawatu Rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi. I know their names. And I know the names of their fathers. And I know the color of their horses. They will be the best riders of the day. So they will go and see, Ah, the calamity has come. The Dajjal has come. Who is this Dajjal? The first of the big signs of Qiyamah. And understand, when the signs, the major signs are unleashed, they will follow each other like beads on a necklace. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-ayat, ay alamat, kharazatum manzumatum fi silk, fa in yukta'i silku yatba'u ba'duha ba'da. The major signs are like beads on a necklace. When the bead is, when the necklace is cut, one will come after the other. That was an interesting video. Just to help me put two and two together, can someone explain to me what the Madi means or what the Madi is all about? Um, the video contained very interesting points. Speaking of how why in intense times we are really faced with many intense things or going through the most. And at the end of the day, God is always there to stand by our side. That's why when I heard or read that part of those that went to battle ran away, it shows how little faith you have. That's how little faith we have. Even though sometimes we're not at battle, we still have little faith. Remind yourself who you are and who stands by you. Remember God will always be there. If you know God is by your side, you wouldn't be jumping up and down from situation you would trust the process face it with him by your side and end up prospering at the end of the day let me know what you guys think about this video and the muddy questions that i've asked i'll appreciate if you guys respond and feel free to suggest more videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video